onwards, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Nivacring, sunny, or well, at least it was, it's a blue sky kind of here and there. Uh, very good weather to take out another Shelby GT350, but uh, more track suited I think than the previous with it, because at least it has Michelin PS4S. First of all, thank you very much Skylar for yep. uh, stopping by and making this all possible. Is there anything we need to know about your car that uh, before we head out, is, does it have any mods or just tell, tell us maybe also about the year and stuff so for a real uh, Mustang and Shelby enthusiast? So it's a 2018 GT350R. Um, these are the carbon fiber wheels and everything. Um, so different from a stock Shelby uh, GT350, the R package has the wheels, it has the wing, it has a little bit different aero. Aside from the tires, it's a bone stock GT350R. Nice. So I forgot to say the previous was the GT350. So now we will be driving an R. So that's actually a very, we will be driving pretty much every single iteration of Mustang uh, by the end of the year. And I'm very super excited. Because as mentioned, the last year after I driven my first one, I fell in love with them. And actually by now when um, people message me like, hey, you want to drive my M4? I'm like, nah, we already had these on the channel so often. You want to drive a Mustang? Which one? Mm. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I think let's go to the track while it's still open and still dry, although I don't expect it to be raining. So let's go do a lap. All right. Let's... Um, and then track mode also turns the traction control off. And All then right. if you want the stability track off, we have to hold this up for five seconds. I will leave the stability off. I think traction control is gonna be good enough because we're on cold. Yeah cold on a hot summer day uh, PS4 S's so and I haven't driven the track in one and a half a week so I may f have forgotten where oh, left man. and right is <laughs> a little rusty you gotta shake it off <laughs> I know important to mention this car has no outer rev match so we'll have to practice our heel and toe um, but how common is that actually? Because, well, the other GT350 or even the base Mustang has rev match. Is it like a model dependent or something? Uh, so the GT350s, as far as I'm aware, never actually came with rev matching okay. for the manuals. The GT500 obviously is a, is a dual clutch automatic. Exactly. Um, but the, the GTs from, I believe, 19 and up, mm -hmm. they came with rev match. And, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know why they never put it on this. I know there's like an aftermarket thing that you can buy to uh -huh. get rev matching in this, but I've heard that there's like a caveat with it. Mm -hmm. I just haven't really looked into it too much. I think trying to practice the actual heel toe is uh, it's more valuable, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I see the pedal position is like quite tricky, too. yeah. But I guess if you be able to do it here, you'll be able. Alright, welcome back for me onto the Nevergreen.
very good. That's the first clean lap I've ever experienced. <laughs> really? Yep. I mean, I always come on the weekend, so it's always super busy. Uh, yeah. There's always it's cautions out. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, this... From the base model, this is definitely like the best one that I've driven so far. Yeah. Because for me, like the best overall was the Steeda that I drove yeah. because it was like really you know, to, but it had massive tires. Oh yeah. Here, um, the brakes were like not completely. Yeah, they're. They, they, they were they were they were getting tired halfway through the lap. They're worn in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Because um, like I said, I've done a I've done a track a few track days with them, and I know the previous owner of this car. Mm -hmm. He also did track days. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, I I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. So the brakes and the suspension is a tiny bit soft, uh, for my liking. Yeah. Uh, I would say, but everything else, the engine, the emotion, the gearbox, even like wrap matching is not a big issue. Ah, brakes are still yeah, a bit. Yeah, I noticed that. We'll take the long route home to cool them down. Yeah, that's fine. I don't think I've ever gotten them hot enough to smoke. <laughs> no, like I said, the engine, the emotion is fantastic the gearbox is like perfect you know the, the gearing is really suited for this oh, track yeah. and the way it reacts the the way it shifts it's just like yeah the suspension brakes but it's something that you if you're really gonna like track track car yeah then you would change them but this like as a daily or like weekend car is like massive smile oh, on yeah. your face yeah so for me i know the, the 19 and 20 years, they actually adjusted the suspension tuning a little bit. Uh -huh. I'm not exactly sure what they changed, but I, I've heard it was a little better overall, um, both for daily driving and for track use. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the brakes for sure, like I said, I, I can tell that they're wearing a bit. Yeah. Their, uh, their heat cycles and stuff, they're, they're starting to show their age a little bit. Yeah. No, but the rest is like really, uh, really easy to drive, easy to handle and to uh, I think nowadays I'm, I'm not sure if I'm getting old, but I start to appreciate the emotional factor yeah. a lot. Like you know, and this is really, really there's nothing good. quite like rowing through the gears. No, no, absolutely, and the and the engine, the sound is like mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> you have to do it when oh, you yeah. go past every the tunnel time. every time. No, oh, amazing. Thank you so much for yeah, the drive. No yeah, awesome. It was a fun lap. Really fun lap. Yeah, glad you enjoyed. Weekend enthusiasts like me, yeah, um, they, they're perfect.